this is going to be a pain in the ass. Hey, how are you? Good evening, or early evening, right before a storm is about to hit. Here on Jared Dog's live video blog, aka the 420 Report. It's Tuesday, May 29th, 4:20 p.m. Uh, while I, I've got some crazy stories from my vacation this last weekend and my shows that I had in Leadville, Colorado, real cool town. My tripod is about to fall apart on me. The selfie stick isn't working. If you're watching, let me know. If you're not watching, maybe you're on the replay. You can still leave a comment or whatever. Hit me up with a... If you don't hit me up with a comment, I don't know you're on because I'm on my phone. I used to be able to tell when I was on my laptop. It would just go through a slider on the side. And I could tell that you were watching and I would give you a shout out. But I can't do that right now because my laptop fucking fell apart. This year has been a whole long list of pretty much every personal item that I have that I've used for doing stand-up comedy on the road has pretty much uh, fallen apart. So in any case, thanks for being here today on Chair Dogs Live video blog, the 420 report. I see I've got a couple of viewers. Um, if you have any comments, like I said, even on the replay, hit me up or a share if you're so inclined. Whoo! While the audience builds, let me go over my show dates. Uh, this Friday night, I'm actually headed up to Crystal, Michigan to host the Grassroots Comedy Tour at Uptown Bar and Grill with my good friend, Dobie Maxwell, who hopefully will be joining me here tomorrow on the 420 Report for Hump Day Happy Hour with a headliner. Mr. Lucky himself will hopefully be joining in at that time. What is this set on? Is this on private? I just have a bad reception. Ali McCarthy was here. Hmm. Um, so be here for that. Hump day happy hour tomorrow, 4.20 p.m. I'll probably just have a beer unless you have any cocktail suggestions for me. Then Saturday night, I head to Minster, Ohio for a show at the Eagles Club. And you definitely want to make it out there for that. It'll be my first time performing there. Um, so I think it's actually going to be a private show, if I remember correctly, for Eagles Clubs only, Eagles members only. Um, otherwise, holy shit, man, just got back from returning the rental. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, the storm is about to hit. There's probably crappy feet on your end. Um, next Saturday, I actually head to Bridgeport, Illinois, Lawrenceville, Illinois, I think it is, for a show at Basso's Grill. I think it's Lawrenceville. Just got back from my trip out to Colorado, so I want to give a shout out to Nate and Don and Desiree and uh, Brandon and everybody at the historic pastime bar in Leadville, Colorado, my cousin Shannon and Kevin for the sweet accommodations at the Silver King Inn. It was so much fun. Of course, when we first got there, my six-year-old had a little bit of motion sickness, a little bit of travel sickness, just like I had when I was a kid. Um... I remember going up in the mountains one time and my sister had, had a problem with the elevation and got a bloody nose and it looked like damn near an entire liver came out of her nose. That was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Like later on when my wife was like self-conscious when we first met that if I saw her old tampons in the trash of the toilet that I would freak out. I was like, no, I've seen something way more disgusting. I've seen body parts emerge out of my sister's nose from this kind of elevation. I've gotten travel sick many times myself, so it was no surprise when my six-year-old immediately threw up in the hotel room and got there. Thank God he waited for that and didn't do it in the rental car. I pretty much only take rental cars these days. This is the first thing I did, man, today was I hiked the rental car. I hiked back from returning the rental car in this 90-degree weather. We left Leadville at 72. It was beautiful and emerged into muggy ass in the 90s something weather here in Iowa, which is cool, man. Totally fine with me. When else? This is the first time I've got a chance to hike in this kind of heat. 
but I always do rental cars for these kinds of trips. Pretty much all trips now for stand-up on the road. A lot of comics, you know, and I was like this for a long time, where you get into the idea, you want to have, like, your road car... You know, the the comics get into these, this idea of like, I've got 350,000 miles. I've got a half a million miles on this blah, blah, blah. And I definitely used to do that too, but holy shit. No more, baby. Not after my van damn near exploded going across the bridge on the Mississippi River. That had happened before the radiator had blown out on and I'd gotten it repaired. And when that had happened, the whole thing just locked up. The steering locked up and everything. There was no way to control it. I just, it, was, it was, you know, all I could do to get it over to the side of the road and then call AAA to have it towed. And so this last time I'm taking it out, I have this trip up in central Wisconsin. I'm going across. Hey, Darlene, what's up? I just promoted the show at Uptown Bar and Cafe this Friday. Dolby Maxwell hopefully will be joining me tomorrow. Your headliner there for the Grassroots Comedy Tour. Hopefully, Dolby will be on with me tomorrow on Hump Day Happy Hour for the 420 Report. Um, but I pretty much always take rentals now because I let somebody else worry about that shit, man. For 10 years, I went on the road with whatever beat up piece of shit I could get my hands on. A lot of comics, they find that romantic. They're like, yeah, man, you got to have your road car. Nah, man, not anymore, dude. Not after my radiator almost went out going across the Mississippi River. I thought I, it was totally overheating. I thought that I was taking the exit to be able to pull over to a gas station so I could call for help. And instead, I took the exit that immediately, with no other options, went over the one-mile bridge that extends over the Mississippi River. Steam and smoke coming out of the hood. I was like, oh man, if this son of a bitch blows right now, I'm a goner. Like, this is how it's going to end for Jerdog. Radiator blows up, van locks up, and then the whole thing topples over the edge of the Mississippi River Bridge. That's going to be the end of Jerdog. So, screw that, man. I had cars. I had, like, this Avalon, this Toyota Avalon. It was like a Tommy Boy car. You know? Total piece of shit. <laughs> and then that's what my wife drove for the longest time until she got hooked up with this sweet RAV now, 1990 RAV with a stick shift. That's what I'll take the gig sometimes if it's nearby, an hour or two away from the house. You know, I'll take this. I'll take Betty White to a gig. That's a fun little car to drive. But anymore, it's just a rental. And then I get a sweet new ride, get to take that all across this country. It's so much fun. Um, all I need now is the driver. <laughs> Someone to drive my ass. Anybody willing to do that? Eventually, what I what I need to get is I need the, the limo service. I need to be doing these gigs and then afterwards having somebody show up and say, Mr. Danley's limo has arrived. Mr. Danley, Jerdog's uh, limo has been prepared as requested. <laughs> I don't think that'll be happening for Dobie Maxwell, though, this Friday night at the Uptown Bar and Cafe in Crystal, Michigan. Uh, like I said, hopefully I'll have him on tomorrow. I sent him out the text message. I haven't heard back. I'll tag him in this video, maybe put a little social pressure on him to call in and tell us some road stories of some cars that he's had that have blown up. Because he's definitely got some stories along those lines comedians cars that have blown up when you're out in the middle of like a 10 day road trip usually going cross country some dumbass booker routed you from like Washington State to Washington DC you know he's probably got stories like that that he'll share with you tomorrow on hump day happy hour for the 420 report also you can get my CD for free go to barcomic.com I'll put the link in the comments below or in the description above above along with all the show dates that I mentioned earlier um, go to my YouTube channel bar comic on YouTube hit me up with a subscribe there or unless you're watching this here if you're already on YouTube and this is where you're watching it then just down below hit the uh, subscribe don't really see any comments or questions or anything and I don't know if the storm is affecting the signal or if I for some reason just have like zero audience on the 420 report out of nowhere <laughs> you know one of those days one fucking person watches this thing or maybe I just can't tell maybe the reception is bad who knows just rant and raving into the phone anyway 
That's how I come up with material. I got the notebook in hand and I got the recorder going out. It used to be back in the day that I would just rant and rave and do one of those handheld recorders with the little micro cassettes. At least this way I've got somewhat of an audience, even if it only is two people right now, what it appears to be. Oh, uh, shit. So, anyway, what a fun weekend we had in Colorado. Um, and I look forward to doing it again sometime. So, once again, shout out to Nate and Don and everybody there at the Historic Pastime Bar for bringing in the comedy show. That was fun, man. Totally off the hook. And uh, I did a mixture of some new stuff. I did a mix. Mostly it was improv. Totally totally off the top of my head and that's the thing about doing those shows in Colorado those audiences are usually so baked out of their minds they don't even remember if you repeated material or not <laughs> uh, then again maybe I did repeat some material and if you did it on accident they just thought it was funny if they did catch it so what a fun night that was and uh, I was a little bit pissed off because my video camera broke, broke so I don't have any cool clips to put up on YouTube or show you guys. Head on over to Bar Comic on YouTube and hit me up with a subscribe there or if you're watching this video blog on YouTube make sure to hit the subscribe button and head on over to BarComic.com and get a copy of my CD totally baked totally free. Otherwise man we went out for a trip on a sailboat. That was on Sunday, and that sort of fell apart. They're like, uh, you know, my cousins, they have a sailboat, and we were going to go out on this glacierly formed lake, or like a glacier lake, whatever whatever the real phrase is for one of those things. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, hell yeah, man. It's been a while since I've been on a sailboat. Back in my Chicago days, when I think I went out like once or twice on Lake Michigan, and uh, we get out there. It's not fucking happening, man. They had advertised, you know, the people that ran that lake, they'd advertised that the ramp is now open. Bring your sailboats. But they didn't put up the dock. So bring your sailboats. The ramp is open. No dock. How the fuck are you going to launch a sailboat without a dock? I don't even know anything about sailboating. I know you need that. You got to have the dock. I'm like, how are they going to do They just push it in there? Yeah, I thought like you drive it up. You launch it off the dock. They say you're not supposed to say the word retard. I'm saying it. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. We went out into this sandbar. We took some pictures out there. Hung out in the mountains. Hung out next to a cool ass lake. It was a lot of fun. And went back uh, to Leadville. Took a five mile hike around town. And then uh, the overnight drive. I still need sleep, man. I went out on the two day vacation. I just wanted to get 48 hours of sleep. There was too much to do. I'm out there hiking, boating, going all over the place, partying, drinking. Whew! I need a vacation from the vacation. Taking care of my kids' vomit from getting travel sickness. So, did the overnight drive. And that's the whole thing about doing comedy, man. It's like going on vacation for most people means packing up the car, doing this big long road trip where you drive overnight and it's a lot of fun. Shit, man. For me, that's just a typical day in the office. Like I said, I need a vacation from the vacation. So, my sleep schedule is completely jacked right now. Um, tired, I'm hungry, I'm cold, <laughs> no, it's hot as shit here, sweating up a storm, and it doesn't look like I have very many viewers and no comments, so if it, they're not coming through, if you are leaving a comment, I apologize, I'm just not seeing them, um, otherwise I'll be back tomorrow, hump day happy hour at 4.20pm, or as close as possible, with Grassroots Comedy Tour headliner, Dobie Maxwell, Mr. Lucky himself. And hopefully I can get him to share with us some of his road stories from traveling this great country of ours, entertaining alcoholics. He'll be at the Uptown Bar and Grill tomorrow night in Crystal, Michigan. So if you don't have your tickets for that, make sure to get them now. And I will tag all the appropriate people, Amy and Darlene and the venue itself in the description above. Hey, Joanna, what's up? You're just tuning in as I was about to wrap up talking about my trip out to Colorado, why I'm a sweaty mess, getting back from a five-mile hike in 90-some degree muggy-ass weather. It looked like it was about ready. It's going to rain. Not sure if we're going to go to the swimming pool or not. So in any case, glad you could join in for my live video blog that I do on the daily, the 420 Report. And hit me up. Come back here tomorrow. I'm hopefully going to have Mr. Lucky on, Dobie Maxwell. If not, if not, I will be regaling you with plenty of tales from my adventures traveling this country, my adventures as an eccentric genius 
comedian, <laughs> road comic, that now drives rental cars because his van almost died and blew up going across the one mile bridge that extends over the Mississippi River back in January. I would have plummeted into the freezing cold river. Not that I've never jumped into a freezing cold river before, but I wasn't about to make that jump. I did it once in the small town of Wacoma, Iowa, after a show, led the entire bar crowd out the door, and then uh, as part of the dare, well, we'll go into the story another time. <laughs> it was part of a dare. They're like, hey, you're not a real, you're not really indoctrinated in this town unless you're not a real, you're not cool around here unless you jump off the bridge into the Turkey River. I'm like, all right, I'll do it if somebody else does, thinking that that would be my out. Sure enough, some drunk idiot went off the bridge, and so they all started cheering my name until I went off as well. They took a video of it. Years later, my wife found the very tail end of the video when she was sorting through those old tapes. Remember those VHS tapes? She was sorting through a box of those, popped one in the VCR, and the tape ends, right? It's like, Jared Dog's wife would hate it if you ever saw this tape. So I had a little bit of explaining to do when I got home from that weekend's gigs. Uh, in any case, I got a lot of stories from the road, and that's what I try to tell you, and that's what I love to go and do every weekend, travel the country, meet people, new friends. Once again, shout out to Nate and Don, Desiree, Brandon, Josh, everybody there at the Historic Pastime Bar. What a lot of fun that was. Shout out to all my new friends in Leadville, Colorado. Um, come out and see the show this Friday night. I will be hosting the Grassroots Comedy Tour at the Uptown Bar and Cafe in Crystal, Michigan. That's another place I got a lot of fans, friends, and followers, so spread the word. We'll see you there. Doby Maxwell will be the headliner for that. There will be a special announcement that made, made there that night, something a little bit special for those in attendance. Um, then this Saturday night, I head to Minster, Ohio, for my first ever appearance at the Eagles Club there. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then next Friday night, June 8th, Basso's Grill in Lawrenceville, Illinois. Saturday, June 9th. Shit, we're, oh, how could I forget? Bay City, Michigan. Going to A.J. Bailey's for my third appearance. The last time, braved a snowstorm, braved a blizzard, barely made it in time. We had like 20 people in the crowd. This time, it's going to be packed at A.J. Bailey's in Bay City. So if you don't have your tickets, you better get them now. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow, from Day Happy Hour, 4.20 p.m. We're as close as possible. Dog bless America.